Welcome to 30 Days of Ableton Push. I'm Josh Spoon. So let's talk about the clip workflow. Previously, we were in scene workflow. If you press user, and then you see there's scene workflow, we're going to change this to clip workflow. So instead of it thinking of a global scene idea, it's thinking it clip by clip. We'll show an example here by playing the song. And if we hit new, it's kept the drums, it didn't duplicate the drums. And it's got us selected to play something in this clip right here. So let's go back. If we were to press duplicate, actually let's start this back up. If we were to press duplicate, You see it now duplicates that clip and leaves out the drums. It doesn't duplicate the whole scene. Also in clip mode, the navigation while in note works a little bit differently. It will select just the clip and not the scene in the row. So if we change this back, you'll see So that's the difference between the two. But let's uh, show the difference between new and duplicate if you don't remember that. So this is scene, new. This is duplicate in scene. Now this is new in clip. And this is duplicate in clip. Another thing that I found out is that you can do a quick from session to note, as well as I've shared before, note to session. So. If I'm in note mode, I can hold down session and get to session mode and make changes. And if I'm in session mode, I can hold down note mode and play things and then come back. So that's a little something as well. Head over to blog.dubspot.com to read my latest article, Four Reasons to Build Your Own Ableton Live Racks. Also, if you're looking for more personal instruction on how to use Push in Ableton Live, you can send me an email at josh at joshspoon.com. If you're in the LA area, we can definitely find a way to meet up and meet your musical needs. And if you are not in the LA area, we can link up through Skype and talk about ways to help you out in that area. Once again, this is Josh Spoon, 30 Days of Ableton Push, and I'll see you tomorrow.